Hello and welcome to another video looking at Maikai's skins and character dies in Guild Wars 2. So here we are on my ranger and you can see here that she's got her massive ley line longbow. Picked because it's one of the coolest uh, longbow skins in the game. It's one of the biggest as well. Uh, and this is my armor set. It's mainly to do with the drover. I don't like the the headpiece. The, it's the um, the char cultural tier armor. I like the uh, the shoulder piece because it's actually pretty cool. It's not really shoulders. It's more like this sort of uh, scarf wrap with a little badge on it. So I quite like that. Um, and then it's got some inquest mixed in as well. But I went for the, the light blue armor because it does match this sort of icy look that I'm going for, which includes the back piece being like this fractal, fractal back piece, um, and also to do with the dire greatsword, which the corrupted greatsword. So that's what I have, uh, and as you can see, God, my, the amount of Dragonite ore I have on this character, this is one of my alts where I store it. Uh, and you can see here, this is some of the other um, weapons that I actually have. The This is one of the armor, uh, the weapons from Guild Wars 1. Uh, as also the Song of the Tempr Tentress, it's one of the rewards for actually completing the Hall of Monuments set uh, of armor of, we of, of uh, rewards, and you you get points for the Hall of Monuments, and you can get some of these unique skins. Um, actually, I've got this uh, corrupted War Torch actually pretty recently, so that's why I haven't soul bound it. So there we go, again matching the art, uh, this sort of frosty armor type. Uh, Sort of that, that that was the one I'm going for. The dagger just uh, I don't barely use the dagger at all. But um yeah, so this is the the um the weapons I actually have, the warhorn and the axe, which is a nice little combo. I just wanted to play around and try a few different skins that I ne never actually had. And I quite like the warhorn. I, I quite like this the, the warhorn skin. So these are the dyes as you can see here, sky and winter ice. I have tried a few different combos, but I, I like this weird little, like, light blue armor color. Uh, it, it goes very well for my ranger, with the, particularly with going with the corrupted uh, weapon sets. Um, so yeah, generally, this is my inventory. I've got a few custom arena tokens, these Flames of Tyria, which you can't actually open up in PvP. But that's to help you find your way around in the dark. Uh, and there's a few other things. Obviously, you can see here, there's the uh, Scale Venom, which is obviously a consumable. Plenty of Dragonite Ore. We've also got the Super Adventure Box stuff, the baubles and the Continue Coins. And it's got this cool little kite that you can take out and play around with just to sort of run around. It's a bit of fun, really. Um, so there, we've got Marjorie's Journal as well and some jars of Harpy Pheromone. Uh, so that's my Ranger. Now we come on to my main, this is my Elementalist. Uh, for those of you wanting to know why I decided to go with this look, sort of look, if we go back to Guild Wars 1, this is a screenshot from my Guild Wars 1 character. It does look very, very similar to my Guild Wars 2 character in the white armor, the pigtails. Um, so that's why I decided to go for it. You can see here, obviously, the inventory is the max almost, apart from seven slots, I've absolutely maxed out because obviously this is my main character. So this is where I have a lot of the runs for dungeons or fractals or doing personal stories uh this happens here you can see here got plenty of uh like sort of equipment um you know uh consumables primers uh foods boosters uh, express uh, summons i've got every sort of pretty much everything on this character and obviously we also have two daggers uh, to combine with my uh, as two daggers and a focus to combine with my Bifrost. So let's have a look. We've got here the uh, sort of uh, the Ascended Armor weapon dagger and also the Chaos Armor dagger. But uh, we'll stick with our Bifrost because that's my main weapon here and I love the Bifrost. It, for me, it's, it's the nice because it goes on my main element of this. That's why I love it. But you can see here we actually have all cultural tier 3 armor. Nothing else is, uh, is changed. We have a fractal back piece as well, which is Ascended. But uh, I've, this is the armor I've always wanted to have uh, ever since uh, launch when I looked at what armors I could possibly go for. And this is what I eventually saved up for and got first. And I love the fact that it has redemption, the colors are redemption and celestial. So a nice white and gold look. Uh, I love the look of my Elementus. It makes it feel very, very regal, very impressive indeed. Um, so yeah, I've just tried to match as best as I could to find an outfit that I liked and goes back to my Guild Wars 1 roots as well. Uh, for the equipment, as you can see, it's all got Rune of the Scholar and it's all Berserker gear, so that is the maximum you know, amount of damage that we can do. And you can see all the stats on the right hand side. 
But generally, you can also see I've got a fractal back, uh, fractal weapon for underwater. Uh, that obviously one of the skins that I managed to get from the fractals. But I'm hoping that, that you've enjoyed this type of video and that any other skins that you'd like, you know, I think you should look for what you actually feel works for your character. You'll probably notice I don't really to have too many comical builds on like comical weapons, comical colour sets on, on my characters. Um, and that's because I do like to sort of make sure they, they fit into the world of Guild Wars 2. Uh, here we have my warrior. And this is a human warrior that I decided to create to honour my Guild Wars 1 warrior. And so primeval armor is something I did have in Guild Wars 1. Um, again, plenty of Dragonite War on my character. But we also have the Azure Railgun, which is a massive rail, massive rifle weapon. And one of the um, high-end uh, hammers, Entropy. We also have a mace shield combo, which is both Ascalonian weapons, which looks pretty cool when they light up in the dark. So this is an old guy, he's called Marcus the Weary. He's this like really old guy and I loved actually having the helmet on until but I actually do like the fact that he's like this really bushy bearded old guy that's like a veteran warrior and uh, he goes he's come into he's done the story he's you know one of those players that like characters that is stake, taking a stand against Saitan. You can also see we actually have Wings of the Sunless. These are the Tequatl, um back piece wings that you can actually get. Uh, and I think they look pretty cool. And I wanted to equip that on one of my check. I wanted to equip that on one of my characters. And so this is one that I thought would be best. Uh, interesting color of the die scheme. I just tried to go for you know leave it as pretty much just standard what it is. Um, so I didn't want to change the colors. I think it looks really good as it is. Um, and again, I haven't completely fully maxed out this character. Even though he's done the personal story, I haven't really given him a decent armor set. Uh, they're just a bit mi mix of what load of different stats. It's a bit weird, really. So that is my alternate warrior. Uh, again, I have yeah, he's a decent guy though. And uh, we move on. We got my little engineer. Uh, for those of you, you might recognise him. He's done a lot of dungeons and other been in a lot of my videos. And he's Mikos, a name related to Guild Wars One that I had to one of my characters. But uh, I actually have this guy all in blue, and this is what um, my character actually looked like recently and so I decided to I actually got bored of him being all blue this was what it used to look like um, and I got bored of it and I, I thought you know it's time for a change and so I've mixed this dye up a little bit and I think he looks quite quite cool I'm not too sure if I actually completely want to stick with it but I do like the fact that he has like the white gloves and the white shoes look with a bit of black and red um, these are the, the armor sets it's all uh, azura uh, cultural armor and you can see we've got the Tormented Weapon, the Tormented Pistol, and the Tormented Shield. Uh, we also have a Sea Thunder Pistol sh uh, Weapon, uh, Sea Thunder Pistol. And that, uh, if we can go back, well, we can look at the equipment. He's got he's got a lot of fractal uh, pieces. But um, yeah, so if we wanted to go dual pistol, we can. And he also does have an alternate armor set. It's something I've kept for a long time. Uh, I don't know if I'll keep it much longer, but I'll show you anyway. This is my alternate armor. And this is what I look like. It was this gold with a little bit of white, um, you know, because I like the, the dragon headpiece. I think it's pretty cool. But yeah, that's what I used to have. And I used to run the back piece, which I actually got from the uh, Scarlet, uh, Scarlet event. And uh, yeah, it's massive back piece, which I don't really feel fits in the, the tempered blades. So there we go. That's the blue tempered blades. It just looks a bit weird on this character now. But uh, yeah, so we'll re-equip those, the, how I like my character. And we'll move on to the next one. There we go, we're on to my Elementalist. And you might notice that uh, the mini that we actually have is Mini Zoja. And you might notice some re resemblance. That's right, this armour is a direct copy of Zoja's armour. And the reason being, apart from the headpiece, because I love my little character's head uh, hair... But I wanted to be like Zoja and like be the alternate Zoja, the the the, the, prop, the decent Zoja, the, not the little aggro one. Again, we've got plenty of uh, Dragonite Ore. We've got also the Meteorologicus. This is my legendary on my little element of this here. We also have a couple of daggers and a focus. The, the staff as well. The staff is a leyline staff that you might have uh, might actually see in on another one of my characters. But I like the Meteorologicus. I think it's one of the most well-designed legendaries in the game. And so there we go. That's This is just my character walking around. He's got a cool little book. 
And we've got the, two, the dual daggers, which are the Mistforged Heroes dagger, which comes from World vs. World rewards. And the Destroyer dagger, which is pretty cool as well. And I like this little combo of like fire and sort of mist, mist essence. It looks pretty cool. But we'll go back. Uh, I actually prefer the Leyline Staff. Uh, the wet, the obviously you can see here, all the uh, armor is cultural tier three for light. And we do actually have a spare back piece, which is a Quaggum back piece. But I actually prefer this uh, the Taylor's backpack that I have on now. So there we go, that's the pink Quaggum backpack, but that's the Taylor's backpack that I actually have uh, instead. And I think it looks, it actually complements my character pretty well. We do have these, like, uh, the glasses and mask, but um, I don't like that, that headpiece for the cultural tier 3. And I, I like my Azura hairstyle. So that's why I've kept the Azura hairstyle, uh, instead of actually making her go bald, because I think that's a bit stupid. But this is my character, and I think for those of you who want to make your character look kind of like uh, my, my character Nuna here, you know, you, the, the die sets are available, I had to look them up. Um, so let's have a look at the dies. so if you want to copy me, we have Blueberry, we have Lemon Zest, and Antique Bronze. We also have a bit of Rust, although the shoulder piece is covered up so you don't have to worry about the shoulders. We Again, we have Blueberry, Lemon Zest, and Antique Bronze, Antique Bronze and Silver. Blueberry, Lemon Zest, Antique Bronze, and Lemon Zest, and Blueberry. So that is the armor and the die set for, Zo for to copy Zoja. This is my uh, Guardian, Saskia. I have changed her color uh, set recently. It's a lot more dark. It's actually almost black, if you can believe it, uh, which isn't um, the directly color black. But we also have the Fiery Dragon Sword. And you can see again, more Dragonite Ore. But uh, I've got this cool little diadem on my character here. You can't actually die. But uh, I, I like that. And we've got the Stag Spalders, which are cultural armor for the Norn. And more cultural armor, the Stag Mail. We have Grasping Dead Gauntlets. We have uh, Heritage Leg Plates. I wanted to know armor trousers that actually were leggings. And Armageddon Greaves of the Monk, because they look pretty cool with spikiness. Midnight Sky and Autumn Sky. Again, that, this is what the dark uh, armor comes across as. And uh, yeah, I'm hoping you enjoy the new color scheme that I have on my Guardian with this fiery dragon sword. And uh, I think it's Knowledge's Power, this fiery dragon sword of sorrow, and also it's King's Remembrance. There's a few different uh, focuses that look similar. Uh, and also on the regarding the staff, we actually have the celestial. We have the celestial whoop whoop spire, which is an ascended armor, uh, ascended weapon uh, piece. Oh, there we go. Which I might have to change because it doesn't really fit in with the die scheme now. But we have the Vision of the Mist, which is a really cool uh, greatsword. We have the Phoenix Hammer, which is actually uh, ascended because it's transmutated, but it really is a cool looking hammer. It's a massive hammer. Um, so you can see it here, a big swinging hammer. And yeah, so that is all the Dragonite Ore. We also have some tonics that are, came from like early Black Lion chest keys, uh, Black, uh, Black Lion chests. Um, but yeah, this is the Vision of the Mists. It does look really cool when you swing that. It's one of my first skins that I went for because it just looks amazing. Um, the, the staff isn't really exciting, to be honest. We've got the Scepter, and we can go this instead of the Fiery Dragon Sword. So we'll go for the Scepter Focus. We have a look around. We can see the fight that you know how the Fiery Dragon Sword lights up the ground. So this is the Scepter, which is a unbright weapon. And we've got the Dark Mace, which I think, I actually like the, the Dark Mace look. I think it's pretty cool. And we also have the Torch, which is actually a purple torch. It lights up sort of a slight purple glow. So as you can see here, as we move into the shadows, it does have this sort of uh, purple luminescence, which actually works interestingly with the Fiery Dragon Sword, so you get that jewel-like lighting, which is pretty interesting indeed. So I'm hoping you've enjoyed this little tour video. If you want some more or if you've got any other requests, please leave them in the comments below and I'll see you on the next video.